Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, if you haven't realized, autumn is upon us. And today being November 1st, it's like the first 11-1 and such a powerful time of the year. 11 in itself stands for two pillars and like a pillar that it's like you know two pillars that stabilize us and one that leads us and one being who we are as me myself and I and I that stands strong so I am huge um, in following numbers understanding numbers what numbers say to us so by fact, when we look back, what is science, what is engineering, what is, everything in our life is so much of numbers and mathematics. We function in numbers and time. So when we think about, give me a minute, I'll be right there, I'll see you in an hour. Uh, time is one of the biggest factors mm. we as humans um, we work with so everything is timeline uh, it takes nine months before a child is born so we consider that and when we are doing uh, business management and profiling and everything is all about time so when we are thinking we function in time as I was thinking about this it's like, what is, what is the factor of fall? What happens during fall? What happens in November? We start getting into this coziness, the time that the climate change, we change, we start shedding, we start peeling away. And yet there is this factor about who we are that we start getting cozier and excuse me wanting to hibernate and become warm because of the weather changing things are changing uh, the leaves turning yellow so in a way what we do we start thinking about honing in and letting go shedding leaves change actually all the beautiful colors of autumn start coming out and what do colors mean what do numbers mean so this may not be a factor and yet it's so important to us because I was reading a portion of my book stand up to slim down and Someone said, what is your book about? Why do you call it stand up to slim down? Is it a weight loss? Is it a self-confidence? So allow me to shed a light. Stand up to slim down is a, a weight management book. It is a book about shedding weight and shedding light in what it is that you are holding onto. So most times, we hold on to things like as autumn is coming, as winter is coming, as it's time to hibernate and go cocooning, we start holding on to things and also decluttering a lot of things that we no longer need. So standing up means to stand up for who you are. If you're not feeling confident, if you don't feel good about yourself, just like a tree if the bark is not rooted strong if the bark is not strong and um, solid and enough water and a good soil then the leaves and the tree and the fruits and everything is not going to be as fruitile right and same thing happens for the winter time and I'm saying winter because as the 
wind comes, as the rain comes, it's how strong the bark of the tree, which is this person, which is you. You are the bark. Everything else on top of you, all your habits, all your behaviors, all the personalities, all everything else, it's outside of you, which is the leaves, which is the branches, which is the fruit. And your personality, if you think of it, it's like the fruit. And the habits can be the leaves and the branches or the behaviors and the patterns, but you are the bark. And how you withstand challenges in life. During summer, the heat. During autumn, the cold, the rain, and the snow, and everything else. Depends on how strong your root is. And you can make it stronger. So in order for... You can go to a weight loss place. You can do all kinds of diets and make the bark strong. And yet... If the root, which is your subconscious mind, is not as strong, solid, healthy, and that's what Heal Within is all about. If you haven't healed some residual trauma issues, pain, hurt, then the tree may have a bark, but the bark may not be as strong or as solid and up to upright so when we are thinking of talking about stand up is how we stand up for who we are our belief systems our wants and needs and that's exactly this book is all about so and i'll read a little portion of that it means stop holding on to emotional weight, residual pain, love, or money only to create what you desire and dream of. If you have been walking on eggshells, not speaking out, not living your dream, it's now time to stop stuffing your emotions and be the amazing, true, unique, loving, and authentic self that you are meant to be. So this book, in a way, has is like a, a workbook for you to understand more about yourself and understand um, that, ah, uh, let's see, what is this? I am live. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a notification. I wonder what the notification is all about. All right, what is this? <laughs> okay, so we're good. We're public, we're live. <laughs> so, um, pardon me for a little bit of a distraction. And again, let's get back to work. This book it was designed not to, not to be a weight loss, but understanding your words, the way you speak, the way you stand, the way you walk, the way you present yourself with confidence and your self-esteem. If you believe that what you want is to drop the weight and let go, shed all that heaviness, all the dead fruit, the ones that has been picked on, the ones that has pain and hole in there, it's time that you shake, even if it is just a gentle shake, to release and shed that, is to know that not only words matter, the way you think of yourself and you want to project who you are as you drop the weight or shed the weight, instead of this time that it's about hibernating and adding more isn't it time for you to start shedding all the leaps habits and behaviors and all that weight that has been weighing upon you for doing so we have to go back to doesn't have to be to your childhood 
but there is always a time that's why we do this timeline therapy been practicing for 22 years as a clinical hypnotherapist and when I say that it's it's working with clients peeling away layers that lovingly you get to know yourself lovingly you get to speak to your body and to realize why am I here with this weight with this issue with this problem it can be health it can be wealth it can be weight right and if it's not a problem then this is not for you but we all hold on to things so yesterday as I'm sitting waiting uh, I was helping someone and sitting in the waiting room we were talking before going in for a procedure and I remembered 40 years ago being in the hospital myself and I remember as they were wheeling me on the gurney to go to the um, surgery room I got into this panic and anxiety it was such a panic not because of the surgery but I had doubts of if I wanted to have that surgery the last minute as they are wheeling in and they put me over there just to uh, just waiting to be wheeled into the surgery room and I remember looking up and it was during the holidays and I saw beautiful ornaments and decorations and everything for the holidays and at that very moment something came over me and when they came to wheel me in and I said I changed my mind they were like what and I said I changed my mind I don't want to have this procedure and at that very moment I don't know what came over me but I refused to be wheeled into the surgery room so they called the head nurse and then they dispatched the doctor saying there's there is a problem the patient is refusing to go in and I was not sedated as of yet and they were gonna just about to do that uh, so they wheel me back into the room and the doctor comes in and at that moment he's like what's going on and I tell him I don't want it I don't want this procedure to happen I don't want it now I don't want it today so we talk and everything and this is 40 years ago I want you to understand this would never happen today but as he was standing there and at that time I used to smoke <laughs> and I was so nervous this is why I know everything about how to um, do a timeline go back in time and understand why we do certain things we do why we hold on to things and at that time I used to think that if I had a cigarette I can calm down even though a cigarette is a, a trigger it it's a stimulator it's a stimuli not a relaxant because it's tobacco but it's your mind over matter it's what you believe in when you believe in something therefore it becomes a reality so at that time he had cigarettes in his pocket and I said may I have a cigarette he's like what and I said I need a cigarette to calm down he says no 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 I said I need a cigarette to calm down he takes a cigarette lights it up gives it to me I take two puffs and then he takes it and puts it out and he says can we go into surgery now and I said no lo and behold two weeks later we did have the surgery it was my second ovarian cyst that we had the surgery but the reason I brought that up is that sometimes where you are sitting somewhere walking 
something can trigger a memory that you had not even remembered. And that's stored in your subconscious mind. And I didn't realize all these times throughout the last 40 years, I've been in and out of hospital, have had surgeries, I've had all kinds of procedures done. But what triggered that was sitting in that waiting room and it said, happy holidays. And they were putting ornaments in there. Wow. Do you realize the power of what we bank in our memory and how my body reacted at that very moment, even right now, as I speak about it, I have reaction. It's the reaction of the memory. It's no longer my body reacting to it. And that speaks volumes because when we get into shedding something, which is something that it no longer benefits you. It no longer has anything to do with where you are today. When we take ownership and release the things that we no longer want, need, and it could be weight, hate, blame, resentment, guilt, shame, all these. And although there was no shame, that one bulb, that one ornament. And after sitting there, I said, thank you to my body. Thank you for where I am today for the recovery. And thank you for that memory that whatever it is that just brought that attention. And when I really dug deeper, I had to shed and say, it was a decision then that made an impact of who I am today. And when I take this ownership, I realize it's not about pointing fingers of why and where and how, but being grateful to where I am today because of the choices I made the choices you make today. And that's how we shed love. Wait, that's how we shed the things that we no longer need to hold on to. So as you come to this season of hibernating, wouldn't it be better for you to also heal within first, stand up for who you are, show up fully and lovingly because today's word of the day i think is one, uh, 11 one i was going to say 111 but 11 one i stand strong i stand for me i stand up to slim down if you're interested in my book by all means not only i have it here at uh, hi said John. hello Mushar, ideal human type you are worthy of love and respect i thank you so much how are you said John? um not only i have it on my website in our shop but uh, it is also on amazon you can find it on amazon um and if you or someone you know wants to shed some weight wants to shed some some behaviors, habits that they no longer want. And it's stressing them or giving them insomnia or anxiety by all means. I want you um, to know that I am here for you. I will stand up with you and guide you, help you through the work that I do and it doesn't matter if it is hypnosis, if it is coaching, action coaching, um, you deserve more, you do. And I want you to remember one thing, bank your memories as you stand strong, 
as you are rooted very strong strengthen this bark which is you with love and kindness because this body of yours is there to protect you shield you and safeguard you so the more love the more health the more vitality you want I want you to give it back to you my name is Lisa Bubari your expert hypnotherapist that I work with metaphors colors numbers yes and deep therapy through working with your subconscious because that's your memory bank that's the one that is the keeper of all your decisions and realize that there is nothing in this world that can stand between you and you until next week I bid you goodbye God bless you and may the universal light surround you see you next week thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago two weeks ago even a year ago click right here see you next time